assalamu alaikum dear students today we are going to study class reptilia migration and digestive system okay most reptiles are carnivores turtles may be carnivores herbivores are omnivores so first of all we'll study that what are carnivores carnivores are the animals which feed on other living and uh, non-living animals these are called carnivores turtles may be carnivores or herbivores herbivores are those animals or organisms which feed on only plants and omnivores are those which have a versatile have a diversity in their food like they can feed on plants and animal both so most reptiles are carnivores and some of the turtles may be carnivores some may be herbivores and some may be omnivores okay the tongue of turtles and crocodile are non protrusible so you can see over here this is a very long tongue almost equal to the body of this organism so this is a very long term the tongue and it is comes out of the body and capture the prey to eat this type of tongue is called as protrusible tongue see protrusible tongue as is zaban jo bahar nikle aur usko prey ko shikar ko pakade that is called protrusible tongue but Turtles and crocodilians don't have protrusible trunk. Uh, protrusible tongue. So, if the turtles are there and crocodilians are there, then the acid tongue may not be. Some animals, some lizard, tatar, have sticky tongue to control capture prey. Tatar has a sticky tongue. It means that it is like it is out of the way and it is holding its prey to its prey. So, the prey is holding its prey. The teeth of archosaurs, except birds, are uh, tichodonts. These are some archosauri forms. Some of them, most of them, are not present in the present world. But I think some birds are isolated to them, and some reptiles are isolated to them. So these are uh, have a tico tichodont tichodont teeth. And uh, tichodont teeth are which teeth, which are fused in a socket of the bone or a jaw. You can see this is the tichodont teeth, and this teeth, its base, the base of this teeth is covered, is covered by a socket, socket of a bone. So there, this type of teeth are called tichodont teeth. The crocodilians have fully for don't teeth condition. So crocodilians are those animals. They have thick or don't type of teeth, and they have fully don't teeth condition. Fully don't teeth condition is that the crocodiles have almost 80 teeth in their jaws, and they keep on changing the teeth till 50 times in their life. So these these are called as fully five don't teeth. The crocodilians have eighty teeth in their jaws, and they keep on changing their teeth almost fifty times in their life. When there is a changing condition in the life of living organism, changing condition of their teeth in their lives many times, their changing teeth in their lives. This is called a fully five don't teeth condition. I hope you can understand. Because Jandar. 
جو بار بار اپنے دانتوں کو تبدیل کرتا ہو یعنی جو پرانے نکال دیتا ہے نئے اس کی جگہ آ جاتے ہیں تو دیز ٹائپ آف کیس کنڈیشن جو ہوتی ہے وہ پولی فائیڈ ڈاؤن کیس کنڈیشن کلاتی ہے اور چونکہ کروکوڈائلز جو ہے نا یہ پچاس دفعہ تقریباً اپنی لائف میں یہ چینج کرتے ہیں اپنے ٹیت کو اور اسی ٹیت ہوتے ہیں تقریباً اس کے جاس لیا کرتے ہیں سو بہت ایمفیس بائنیا ہے ایکو جانچ ہے لیزرڈ ہے لیڈو جانچ اوکے سو ایمفیس بائنیا دیز ہے ایکو جانچ ٹیت اوکے ایمفیس بائنیا ہے ایکو جانچ ٹیت دی ٹیت which are on the ridges of a bone socket جو ایک بون یا جا کے ساکٹ کے بلکل ridges کناروں کے اوپر پایا جاتے ہیں no base is present in the socket of the teeth that's why these type of teeth are called acrodons and these are present in herbivores and the lizard sorry this was amphis by Nia On the other hand, lizard have pleurodon. You can see here, these are the pleurodon teeth, the teeth, which are, which base starts from the middle of the jaw's socket. You can see here, there, that it is the middle of jaw socket and the pleurodon base of the pleurodon teeth starts from the middle of the socket. These type of teeth are called as pleurodon teeth. Okay. Uh, so, uh, if, uh, one more important thing is the herbivorous lizard. Herbivorous are those organisms which feed only on plants. So, lizards have teeth with multiple cusps. You can see over right here, these are cusps, basically. And cusps are the basically pointed, pointed ends of uh, the teeth here. Pointed ends are called the cusps. So the pointed end of the teeth are the cusps and some herbivore lizards have these types of teeth in their mouth or in their jaws. Okay, we are forwarding to next, or it's not going to be necessary anymore. Okay, the next is the uh, claustrophilia. Also, we are studying nutrition in the digestive system. The bones are circle, skull, and jaws. Loosely joined, loosely joined. You can see over here, these are very loosely joined. Bohat kamzor chude hote hain. Loosely joined doesn't mean they are kamzor hote hain. Asani se toot sakte hain. It's not toot na. They can be separated easily to widen the mouth open. Itna zyada khula muh khola ja sakta hai ke bade se bada janwar bhi wo nikal sakte hain. which cannot be ex expected any person who is seeing their normal jaw. If you see his normal, if you see the normal jaws of the skull, you cannot imagine that the skull can wide open till that end, till that extent, uh, that it can engulf very large animals. So you can see over here, these are upper jaw and these are the lower jaws and you can see that it can open it can open easily the mouth will very widen so this type of uh, a skull is found in the reptilian this is also called one of the uh, kinetic skull uh, kinetic skull properties so we are talking about uh, a skull so there is a wipers possess hollow fangs So now we talk about lots of properties present on the skull. हम बहुत सारी ऐसी बातों को हम स्टडी करेंगे स्कूल के ऊपर होती हैं, which are involved in nutrition and digestive system also. So here the third the word is uh you can see sorry. So here is fang, hollow fang on maxillary bone at the anterior margin of the upper jaw. So these, this is a maxillary bone. You can see this figure, and this is a fang. So they're amazing. And what is a fang basically? This fang, this fang is basically a uh, hollow, hollow tube-like structure. That is bony structure made up of bone. It is hollow tube-like structure, and it is responsible, and it is responsible for pouring, 
the venom that is produced in the body of the snakes, vipers, in the body to the body of um, prey, which is being captured by the viper. So uh, you can see that there is a maxillary bone and the fang and the maxillary bone and this jaw. And this is the upper jaw. Upper jaw is uh, uh, the, there is a hinge joint between the maxillary bone and the fang. It means that it can move to and fro. The agriculture has to do that. When the snake wide open its mouth, opens its mouth to capture the prey, you can see it's moving forward. The fang and the maxillary bone moves forward. The agriculture or upper agriculture upward and forward. And so that they can capture, they can put the whole animal into their mouth. And after that, after that, what happens? After that, what happens when they uh, close their mouth, they come inward and backward movement. When they come inward and backward movements, uh, the renome is poured. Okay? So you can renome is poured. It is pinched in the skin of the in the skin and the body of the organism or the prey which is being captured, sorry, which is being captured. So here, so here it comes inward. So I will explain a little bit that the fang is a structure that is hollow, it is a hole, it is a bone structure. The maxillary bone is attached to the maxillary bone, which is a hinge joint, which is a hinge joint. और ये जॉइंट जो है ना आगे पीछे तो वन टू मूव कर सकता है जब ये मुंह खोलता है तो ये ऊपर की तरफ हरकत कर चला जाता है हरकत करके और जिससे मुंह ओपन हो जाता है इसका माउथ ज्यादा वाइड ओपन हो जाता है और जानवर इजीली इसके मुंह के अंदर आ जाता है जैसे ही जानवर इसके मुंह के अंदर आता है ये अपने मुंह को बंद करता है और फैग नीचे की तरफ अंदर की तरफ मूव करते हैं और वो बॉडी में धंस जाते हैं जो उनका प्रे होता है शिकार होता है जिसकी वजह से इनका जो विनोम है विनोम जो जहर है जहर इनकी बॉडी के अंदर सॉरी इनका जो शिकार है जो प्रे उसकी बॉडी के अंदर इंजेक्ट हो जाता है ओके सो सो सम स्नेक्स हैव रियल फैंग्स सम स्नेक्स डोंट हैव फैंग्स ओवर रियर सम स्नेक्स हैव फैंग्स ओवर रियर रियर फैंग्स भी यहां पे होते हैं और इनमें ग्रूव्स होते हैं ग्रूव्स ये होते हैं कि इनमें झरी होती है दांतों के अंदर उसमें से विनोम को इंजेक्ट किया जाता है प्रे के अंदर सो दीज आर कॉल्ड रियर फैंग स्नेक्स सो वन मोर थिंग इज इंपॉर्टेंट अबाउट अबाउट द स्नेक्स एंड द फैंग यू कैन सी दिस इज ए माउथ ऑफ ए आई थिंक सो वाइपर्स एंड दिस इज फैंग एंड दिस इज डिस्चार्ज और ये फाइव यू वो जगह है जहां से विनोम को डिस्चार्ज किया जाता है यू कैन सी हियर वर देयर इज ए विनोम ग्लैंड The venom gland has the capability to secrete venom, and this is the venom neurotoxin and hematoxins. So, what are the neurotoxins? Neurotoxins are the venom effect on the nervous system of the prey and paralyzes its respiratory system. Use the respiratory system to paralyze it. They cannot respire and die. Hematoxin effect on their and blood circulations and destroy loss of the red blood cells. Blood, uh, blood cells loss of the blood cells are disturbed and destroyed by the hematoxin. So these are the genome uh, chemistry in which two types of the uh, uh, poisons, the tox our toxins may be present. These are hematoxin or the neurotoxin. And these are secreted by the glands, these are the genome glands and poured into the fang over here. Okay. And most one more thing you can see in the teeth. These are pointed posteriorly to the backward side to posterior side, so that if the prey is captured, it must be grabbed. It it uh, it to uh, prevent this pointed posterior pointed ends of uh, the teeth prevented prevented the prey to move out of the mouth. तो ये बाहर नहीं जाने देते एक दफा शिकार पकड़ में आ जाता है तो ये बाहर नहीं जाने देते एंड यू कैन सी दिस इज वेरी अमेजिंग देयर इज अ ग्लॉटस ओवर देयर व्हाट इज द ग्लॉटस इन फैक्ट व्हाट इज ग्लॉटस इज द अप ओपनिंग ऑफ ट्रैकिया ट्रैकिया इज 
Trachea is uh, the opening. Trachea is a uh, tube by which an organism respires. It goes to the lungs, in fact. So if the large system is closed, it cannot respire. And if the viper coin cannot respire, it will die. You can see in this figure, you can see that uh, there must be all the mouth is covered and filled with that of the tray. But it is present on the anterior to the tip portion so that the wipers can keep on breathing, slowly breathing and slowly, slowly taking their brains to the mouth, into the body and keep on engulfing the prey. So that's very amazing. So here is a glottis that is attacked by the trachea, which we call the nali, which we call the sans lindin. So when the trachea, sorry, the vipers, or the snake, which they eat, they eat, they eat, they eat, they eat, mostly sans lindin. So when they eat, 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 Adopted, ये बाहर लगाया गया है, ये बाहर मौजूद होता है, जिसकी वजह से इजी से सांस ले सकते हैं, रेस्पायर, रेस्पिरेशन कर सकते हैं। Okay, so we are going to next slide. That's now we are going to the circulation and gaseous exchange. Circulation and gaseous exchange of class reptilia. Okay, so here the circulatory system reptiles have high blood pressures, have two air types. The reptiles have high blood pressure means that the blood pressure the reptiles is high because the length is a very long animal than that of the amphibians because it is phylogenetically proven that the reptiles have the ancestors in the form of amphibians. So amphibians are shorter than that of the reptiles. So reptiles are very long and that's why they have high blood pressures. Okay, so you can see that if your heart is present over here and the six meter away in the dinosaur, there is a head. So you have to pump with more pressure so that heart has to pump the blood with more pressure so that the blood can lead to that of the head region. So that's why the longer longer uh, length of the body is the basic reason of the high blood pressure in the class reptilia have two atria and the veins to lungs okay uh, so, yeah veins come from the lungs in fact and they have two atria sinus venosus is present in turtles to uh, so uh, if, uh, if you are if we're talking about the circulatory system, so we have to study the heart of reptilians, in fact. So you can see over here that we have two atria, and this is this is the right atrium, and this is the left atrium. And we can see there is a ventricle, and ventricle is partially divided, it's not completely divided over here. You can see over here this here that the ventricle is not completely divided. And there is also there is a corona cessa. So sinus venous is present. Sinus venous is also present, which uh, in the which help as a face marker also is present in turtles only. But in the other animals, these are the basal cells which work as a sinus venous. Ventricles have incomplete DVN except crocodilians. Only crocodiles have four chambers. This is the most important. And uh, the other work, other reptiles other than the crocodiles have three chambers. Uh, it means that the crocodiles ke char khano ka dil hota hai aur other dusri reptiles hote hain kati mein khano ka dil hota hai. Coronal arteriosis and ventral aorta form three major arteries. So here, clone arteries is much more important in forming the pulmonary artery. And you can see over here, these are the aorta. These are the ventral uh, aorta. These are making the right systemic artery and uh, left systematic artery and right systematic artery. 
these are very much important in making the three main arteries, major arteries of the uh, heart. So, we have three arteries, major uh, left systematic artery and left uh, right systematic artery, and these are the pulmonary arteries. Okay, pulmonary artery is present, this is cool. Two systematic arteries are present, these are ventral and dorsal, and Apinia. Okay, apinia. We will discuss about apinia after that. Apinia is uh, so. First of all, we'll discuss that here. You can see here is a figure which is very much important. So this is in the blue. Is, sorry, the yellow line is for oxygenated blood. So oxygenated blood are head uh, from veins, pulmonary veins. The pulmonary vein, when the word is pulmonary is used, it means it is coming from lungs. The so vein and arteries. You can see over here pulmonary artery. So what is the difference between artery and the vein? The arteries are those vessels which take blood. Which take blood from heart to the body and the veins are the vessels which take blood from the body to heart this is basically the main concept so when the veins are coming to the heart they take blood that is oxygenated over here you can see these are coming into the ventricles okay so from the ventricles the blood is pumped into the left and right so this is left in fact this is why this is a dorsal view and this is a this is uh the dorsal view and this is uh, the ventral view in fact okay so you can see earlier that these are the systematic arteries and the arteries take blood away from the heart and these are taking the heart, uh, sorry, taking the blood to the body. Okay, so you can see over here, this is a vena cava. Vena cava is a bigger vein which is taking blood from the body to heart. When the body uh, blood comes from the body, it is less oxygenated blood. And it comes over here and it's also coming to the left uh, right atrium and from right atrium it is coming to the ventricle and the ventricle pumps it over here and put it into the pulmonary artery to make them make it oxygenated it goes to the pulmonary artery after being oxygenated it comes back so it comes back into the pulmonary vein to the heart again So the uh, pulmonary artery takes the blood to the lungs and the lungs oxygenate the blood and it to uh, forward back the blood to the heart by pulmonary vein. In pulmonary vein takes uh, from mobile pulmonary vein, the blood is flowed into the heart and heart pumps into the systematic uh, light, right, left and right systematic artery. You can see over here. After that, they go, the arteries take the blood to the body, and from the body, the blood comes back to the heart by vena cava. And vena cava have less oxygenated blood. This less oxygenated blood is also taken to the ventricles, and the ventricle pumps it to the pulmonary vein so that the blood goes to the lungs and can be oxygenated. Okay, I will take it uh, from uh, here, I will start. To make you understand in Urdu, so you can see, यहाँ पे ये heart structure है lizard का, तो हम major arteries और heart के बारे में बात करते हैं, तो ये हमारे पास ये right atrium and this is a left atrium, और इसकी जो veins हैं, this is these are pulmonary vein, this is pulmonary artery. पुलमोनरी कलर जहाँ पे है तो इसका मतलब होता है ये लंग्स से ताल्लुक रखते हैं और 
वेन्स वो नालियां होती हैं जो बॉडी से दिल की तरफ खून को लेके आती हैं और आर्टरीज वो नालियां होती हैं जो दिल से बॉडी की तरफ खून लेके जाती हैं सो so, हियर आप देख सकते हैं कि जो ऑक्सीजनेटेड ब्लड है वो प्रमोनरी वेन्स से आ रहा है यानी कि वो फेफड़ों से ऑक्सीजनेटेड होके वो राइट लेफ्ट एट्रियम में आता है और लेफ्ट एट्रियम से ये वेंट्रिकल में भेजा जाता है सिमिलरली इसी तरीके से वेना केवा जो बॉडी से खून लेके आती है उसमें लेस ऑक्सीजनेटेड ब्लड होता है ब्लू एरोस का वो वेंट्रिकल में भेजा जाता है ऑक्सीजनेटेड ब्लड जो प्रमोनरी वेन्स से आता है यू कैन सी इसको सिस्टमेटिक आर्टरीज के जरिए पूरी बॉडी में भेज दिया जाता है और जो बॉडी से ब्लड आ रहा होता है वेना केवा के जरिए वो राइट आर्टरियम में आता है और राइट आर्टरियम से इसको वेंट्रिकल में भेज दिया जाता है वेंट्रिकल इसको भेजता है प्रमोनरी आर्टरी में प्रमोनी आर्टरी इस ब्लड को लेके जाती है लंग्स की तरफ और लंग्स इसको ऑक्सीजनेटेड करके दोबारा से प्रमोनरी वेन के जरिए वापस दिल की तरफ भेजती है और इसको दोबारा सिस्टमेटिक आर्टरी के जरिए पूरी बॉडी में भेज देता है This is a clear circulatory system present in class bacteria. एक और बात यू कैन सी ओवर हियर दिस इज ए टर्टल ये एक टर्टल है एंड ये एक अडोप्टेशन है इसकी जिसको हम कहते हैं एपनिया जब ये पानी में होता है इट इज नॉट ब्रीदिंग डेफिनेटली क्योंकि इसके पास लंग्स हैं और ये ब्रीद नहीं कर सकता और बाजूकात समाइम ये शेल के अंदर होता है इट इज प्रेजेंट इन द शेल अपने आप को छुपा रहा है या कोई भी इशू है उस वक्त भी इसको ब्रीद करने में प्रॉब्लम हो रही होती है इस इस जो सिचुएशन है इसको हम कहते हैं एपनिया एपनिया इज नो ब्रीदिंग सिचुएशन इन द लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म सो समाइम्स जब ब्रीदिंग नहीं हो रही मीन्स लंग्स का काम नहीं है इसमें क्या होता है कि जो ब्लड यहाँ से आता है उसको दोबारा से वापस आर चीज के जरिए वापस दिल से बॉडी में भेज दिया जाता है इसको वेंटिकल इधर भेजता ही नहीं है इट्स 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 इट चेंजेस द पाथ फ्रॉम प्रोमोनी आर्टी सिस्टमेटिक आर्टी राइट एंड लेफ्ट इट द ब्लड इट डिजेंट पंप द ब्लड टू द प्रोमोनरी आर्टरी इट पंप द ब्लड टू दिस्टमेटिक आर्टरी then from veins it's coming to the left atrium then again it's come to the left and right systematic arteries so pulmonary arteries and veins are almost not working during this condition that is called apnea okay i hope you can understand what is circulatory system so this is the last topic of our lecture that is gases exchange in plus reptilia प्रेजेंट no respiration will done in any organism so there the respiratory surfaces have some conditions to have the most one is the most important is they must be the moist so you can see that the reptiles live on the dry conditions they live on land when there is very less amount of water is present so they have to keep can they cannot keep the external surfaces they cannot make their skin as a separate surface so that's why they keep on respiring they keep on managing their respiratory surface inside the body like lungs lung body ke andar hote hain aur wo internal respiratory surfaces banate hain ye moist hone chahiye internal respiratory surfaces क्योंकि रेप्टाइल्स बाहर रहते हैं ड्राई कंडीशन में वो अपने आप को मुआस नहीं कर सकते मोस्टली वो ड्राई कंडीशन में रहते हैं डेट्स वाई उनको ये प्रॉब्लम होती है कि वो बाहर की एक्सटर्नल रेस्परेटरी सर्फेसिस को एज रेस्परेटरी सर्फेसिस नहीं बना सकते ना वो उसको यूज कर सकते हैं 
तो वो उनकी इंटरनल रेस्पिरेटरी सर्किल्स होती है नेचुरल लंग्स लैरिंग्स इज प्रेजेंट लैरिंग्स इज वेरी बेस ए एन टाइप ऑफ ऑर्गन व्हिच इज अ वॉइस बॉक्स व्हिच हेल्प्स एंड प्रोटेक्ट द ग्लोटस एंड व्हिच इज एंड हैव वोकल कॉर्ड्स बट व्हाट इज कॉल्ड अ नॉट प्रेजेंट इन द विद द लैरिंग्स इन द थ्रोट कार्टिलेज इज प्रेजेंट इन रेस्पिरेटरी पैसेजेस so cartilage is most present in respiratory cartilage uh, passage because the cartilage keep on open in the opening of the respiratory passage when we keep on respiring the air flows in and out for some time we stop respire the passage remains open because of the cartilage is present in the respiratory passage in the respiratory passage यू कैन सी ए कार्टिलेज कार्टिलेज एक कली हड्डी को कहा जाता है ये रेस्पिरेटरी जो पैसेज है जो रास्ता होता है जो नाली होती है जो सांस की नाली कहा जाता है उस सांस की नाली में ये कार्टिलेज की पट्टियाँ लगी हुई होती हैं ताकि ये सांस की नाली कभी भी बंद ना हो सांस में ना अगर ये जानदार कोई भी जानदार टेल्स की जो प्राइस की बात करते हैं सांस में अगर ये छोड़ भी दें तो नाली फिर भी खुली रहती है बंद नहीं होती जैसे वो सांस लेते हैं वो खुली ही हुई होती है उनको ये नहीं होता कि दो सेकंड के लिए या एक सेकंड के लिए सांस होती है उनकी तो दोबारा से उनको पैसेज खोलना नहीं पड़ता दैट इज ऑल वेरी ओपन सो दैट इज बिकॉज ऑफ कार्टिलेज प्रेजेंट इन द रेस्पिरेटरी पैसेज सो नेगेटिव प्रेशर मैकेनिज्म इज यूज्ड फॉर वेंटिलेशन सो देयर इज यू कैन सी ओवर हियर द लंग्स आर प्रेजेंट इन द रिब्स नेगेटिव प्रेशर मैकेनिज्म को प्रोसेस स्टडी कर लेते हैं so for inhalation we we can see that the ribs move forward ribs aage ki taraf aur upar ki taraf moves forward and outward and thorax expand this is the lung ventilation in lizard thorax expand ho jata hai and here is a vacuum in the internal body andar ki jo visra hai बॉडी है उसके अंदर एक वैक्यूम खुला से पैदा हो जाता है जिसकी वजह से एयर जो है ना फ्लो करके बॉडी के अंदर जाता है दिस इज कॉल्ड द नेगेटिव प्रेशर मैकेनिज्म यूज फॉर वेंटिलेशन एक्सलेशन के लिए क्या होता है रीब मूव बैकवर्ड एंड इनवर्ड एंड थोड़ेस्ट तो जब एक्सपेरेशन की जाती है या एक्सलेशन की जाती है तो रिब मूव बैकवर्ड एक पीछे की तरफ मूव करती हैं इनवर्ड और अंदर की तरफ मूव करती हैं तो रेस कंप्रेस होता है और हवा बाहर खारिज हो जाती है दिस इज कॉल लंग वेंटिलेशन इन द लीजर ऑन द अदर हैंड यू कैन सी दिस इज ए टर्टल और इस टर्टल का जो रिब्स हैं दैट आर अटैच विद द शेल ऑफ टर्टल so there are muscles also attached with this shell and you can see over here this is the right lung and the left lung lungs bronchus trachea larynx mouth glottis everything is present and the trachea i'm oh, sorry and the, the turtles keep on expanding and relaxation expanding and compressing their lungs and body by moving their muscles which are attached to the ribs uh, which are attached to the ribs that are connected to the shell so their shell is very much important along with the ribs and the muscles for the movement for exhalation and inhalation of the uh, body okay so this is also a lizard over here we have discussed in this figure okay <coughs> these are contracting muscles and vessels thank you i hope you uh, i hope you can understand everything if you have any question you can contact me anytime take care allah hafiz